Hello, and today I'll be making a click game. It is using the visible function and a couple other things, and we're going to make a quick little game that'll teach you some things about C Sharp. So, if you've not already downloaded Visual Studio C Sharp Express Edition, uh, you can go download it. There's a link on the side of the page. So, once you've downloaded it, go to File, New, Project, and then Windows Application. So once it loads, you'll have a blank uh, form, which should pop up any second. Okay, so we have our form. Okay, so we place the button one a little to the left, and then button two, and take button three, and so on. So just get them all lined up. Okay, so I'll just get all of these placed. Okay, so now we need to add a timer. So go back to the toolbox and just click on a timer and click on the form. So go to the timer's uh, properties and go to enabled and make it true. And then set the interval to about uh, 8500. Zero, zero. So the eight, every 8.5 eight seconds it'll do its function. But it doesn't have any functions so we need to do this. Go to timer 1 and do message I mean uh button one dot visible equals false and do that for every button button two dot visible equals false and so on just give me a minute And uh, to save time, you may just want to copy and paste button whatever dot visible equals false, and then just change the number. And last button, visible equals false. So now what it's going to do is every uh, eight and a half seconds, all the buttons will disappear. <coughs> so this is somewhat of a game right now but it doesn't do anything so when you go to button one and type message box dot show and then open parentheses and then quotations only five left to go and then quotation and then parentheses and semicolon so I want you to highlight uh, the entire string of code control C, and then do control C to copy and then go to button 2 and then paste that and then change the only 5 to go to 4 and 3 and, and then just do that to button 4, 5, and 6 so I'll give you a minute to do that while I'm doing it and then on the last one though uh, do so paste it again, but do good job, you beat the time. Okay. So now, uh, if you play the game, like debug, so you have to click all the buttons in time before the time runs out. So, button one, okay, button two, three and I beat the time just before it went so now we need to make it so once uh, the game's over you can play it again so you need to add another button and then click on that button and do and now just go up to um, 
the timers code and highlight all of the button one visibles and button two and all of that and then change them all to uh, true and what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the first line what I did and just replace it for all the other ones okay and one last thing so when you make button seven uh, visible equals false and then we just need to make double click on the timer and make button seven dot visible equals true so when the game's over it'll pop up saying re retry or whatever so now we highlight buttons one through six not seven though and then go to the text and say click me exclamation point and then button seven's text to uh... try again and the forms d uh... text to click game so now let's run it and see how it does so let's see how good you can do so click 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 almost there and I got it just before so if I click try again it starts up again so I didn't beat it I was on number four so yep so just a quick little game uh, I'll have much more complicated stuff later I tried to do a tic-tac-toe game today but it was twelve minutes and YouTube only allows ten so I'll try and make a shorter version of it but uh... yeah thanks for uh, all the good comments and